Hi again, Dave Blum here from Dr. Clue Team Building. Have you ever been on a team with a bad attitude? You know what I mean. Just being around them kind of brings you down. If you haven't, you are not living in the same world that I live in. I've been on plenty of what I call bummer teams that seem so promising and yet they don't achieve what they could achieve because of their attitude. And teams are like people in the sense that they have a personality, they have a character, they do have an attitude. What I'm going to talk about today is the five attitudes of a team. So you can diagnose where your team is at and where you could be if you could just coach them up a little bit. The bottom rung of the attitude ladder is the victim level. And it's characterized by apathy, lethargy, disappointment, guilt, anger, and resentment. The prevailing slogan is, I lose. Because as a victim, you always lose. It's just like Eeyore, oh, poor me. So you're not only are you lamenting your fate, but you're also blaming others. It's very self-focused, it's very low energy, and it's very self-judgmental. When you're on a victim team, you know it. And when you're around people like that, they're always blaming others and they always feel powerless. The next rung above the victim is the fighter. And it's characterized by conflict, anger, and defiance. And the slogan is, you lose. Oh, I wanna win, but you are going down. You're going to lose. The world in this attitude is a battlefield and you have to push to get what you want. There's self-judgment, but the judgment is pushed outward. So it's still very ego focused. And although it's much higher energy than the victim, it has some downsides in that it can be very contentious and lacking in empathy. A lot of teams think, oh, because we're defiant, we're full of energy, but it's not the highest attitude at all. It has some serious, serious downsides. The next rung up is the rationalizer. And it's characterized by forgiveness and responsibility. And the slogan is, I win. Oh, you can win too, but as long as I win, I have to win. And it's a much more enlightened and energetic attitude because you're not blaming anymore. You're not saying I'm stuck here and I can't do anything, nor are you blaming other people you're actually taking responsibility for your actions and forgiving others. So it's a nice place to be. And a lot of teams, this is about as high as they ever get. But because it's rationalizing, it means that you set the bar fairly low. Once you get to this point, you're feeling pretty good about yourself. and You don't go for the full potential. You're not pushing anymore. You just sort of settle like, oh yeah, we may not win the team prize, but we're happy, we get along, we're fine where we are. And a lot of highly successful teams think that they're at the highest level and they're stuck at the rationalizer. The next rung up is the caregiver. And it's characterized by concern, compassion, and service. And the slogan is, you win. Not me, but you. And it's a wonderful place to be. There's gratitude and appreciation, but it does have one little dark side which is that if you're not appreciated as a team, you can drop down to a lower level, to a lower attitude, to an attitude very often of the fighter. And we've all seen this, the caregiver who isn't appreciated and starts getting angry about it. Nobody appreciates me, nobody cares about me, I never get even a thank you. And that's what happens. They go from caregiver, straight down to fighter. The final attitude, the one at the top of the ladder, number five, is the attitude of the opportunist. And it's characterized by reconciliation, peace, and acceptance. And the slogan is, we win. We win or we don't even play. It's the attitude of the scientist, where you're curious about everything. Win or lose, you're just curious. Where everything is an opportunity and there are no mistakes. You take very little personally, and you have many opportunities for choice and for creativity. It's the attitude of the triple bottom line, which you really believe in, which is revenue, employees, employee satisfaction, 
and the environment or the community. And many teams pay lip service to this. They think that they're at level five opportunists, but they're actually at level three. So you have to be careful about this. But the main thing is at this attitude is how can everyone learn and grow? I hope you enjoyed this and have a little bit of a better sense of where your team is, what attitude they're currently at right now, because that's what this is all about, is diagnosing your team. If you don't know where you're at, you can get them to the next place and the next place. And in my next video, I'll talk a little bit about how you can coach your team up to the next level and the higher attitude. Dave Blum, Dr. Clue Team Building. Have a great day.